some Dinar Guru news updates from Caperoni Pimpy Militia Man. Caperoni, many economists have stated in the last few months Iraq should devalue the Iraqi dinar to reduce expenses during this difficult time. The problem is it also hurts the citizen, and so officials have maintained stability at the current rate. Today, former Deputy CBI Governor Mohammed Salah once again reiterated that the Iraqi dinar may be devalued in the near future. If Iraq floats the currency under the current circumstances, a devaluation is very possible. Iraq needs to pass laws and create a sustainable business environment for foreign investment. Once that occurs, the dinar should begin to gradually appreciate. Okay, Pimpy, if somebody in the position of power knew for a fact the date and rate of any currency that was going to jump up in value, like we expect the Iraqi dinar to do, and they share the, in, that information, that's like insider trading information. That's a felony. That's big time trouble. That's illegal. Nobody's going to tell you. Don't get me wrong. The powers that be, or the elite, or whatever the hell you want to call them, do talk to one another. We know they share information that they wouldn't, that they shouldn't with each other. That's how the rich stay rich, and the rest of us keep trying to put the puzzle, put in the puzzle pieces. Okay, militia man. The idea of going outside of this month yet seems a bit hasty, in my opinion. The change in the budget has not been exposed yet, therefore this is nowhere near over, in my opinion, in the short term, let alone going into next year. Let's not forget the 2019 FMLA. Let's not also forget they can move or allocate the investment side of the budget to the operational side in a stroke of a pen, all in recent articles. Caperoni, news out of Iraq for six days in a row was about strengthening the dinar, strengthening the dinar means to make the market rate, the street rate, closer to the official CBI rate. It has nothing to do with changing the official rate, exchange rate. Remember, the IMF has been calling for strengthening 2% or less spread for years.